talk about wake you up before you go go. <laughs> Chris, 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 Chris. You're never gonna guess what happened. Ooh, let me guess. Platform shoes or back in style, and you finally get to be a tall person. You're not funny, Marcus. <laughs> no. Now you're telling me all those sweepstakes are a big waste of time? Mm -hmm. Read it in a week, brother. No way. Way. No way. No way. No way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> if y'all say no way one more time, what is going on? Way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> God. No, 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 no. It's too early for this. Good morning, Marcus. You okay? No, you scared me. Sorry. You should be scaring me like that. Why are you sitting in the dark anyway? I like the dark. It's quiet. Besides, I can think. I couldn't sleep last night. Okay, Dracula. <sighs> no, I'm going to regret this. Why couldn't you sleep? It was something Amber said the other day. And it's just been on my mind. I just can't get it off of my mind right now. So that's what this is about. Okay. Tell me what's in your mind. It's you of all things. Me? That's a hard pass. But if you feel like curious, I can go find old boy from the club. Quit being gay. <laughs> That's kind of hard to do. Man, I really need to talk to you right now. It's important. Uh, okay. What kind of dirty dream did you have? One where I was beating your ass. Phrasing, Josh. Phrasing. I ran into Amber at the store the other day, and she's told me about this time that they... <laughs> How did that work out for you? <laughs> Let me tell you, I am glad that I have the sanctity of the school walls protecting me from that woman's wrath. Yeah, that's a firecracker for sure. You know. She told me a reason why she still doesn't like me to this day. That's a long list, Josh. I mean, we've had our issues and we can let things go, right? Yeah, but what does that got to do with the price of tea in China? I never would have let the baseball team jump you in the bathroom that day. I never would have let it slide. I appreciate that. No, I'm not done. Look, I know I'm a good person. I would never let somebody just beat up on somebody because of their sexual orientation. It, but what I did do was I stood by and allowed those around me to attack you and insult you with jokes and ridicule with who knows what kind of verbal language we used against you. And for standing around and letting these people say these things to you, 
For that, I am sorry. Soapbox much? Look. I've had to defend myself just about all my life. And yeah, I mean, I guess kind of put me on edge. But all our arguments and fights wasn't all you. And for the longest time, yes, I did think it was you that had them jump me. But Bryce actually said something very similar. He said, I would never allow them to jump you like that. So. You know, something my mom used to always tell me. She said, there's a man behind that gay. <laughs> Sounds like a wise one. Yeah. Why do people always want to fight gay people? Because they believe we're all sunshine, rainbows, and butterflies. <laughs> But Muhammad Ali said it best. Float like a butterfly, <laughs> sting like a bee. Hey. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're on my side now, man. It came in handy the other night. <laughs> if only I can get Amber on my side. Good luck with that. And I never said I was on your side. I just understand that you're not the guy I thought you were. Well, either way, I apologize. And now... It's time to get ready for the gym. Why didn't you get ready when I was asleep instead of sitting in the dark scaring people? Oh. You do this on purpose, don't you? Ooh. Little old me? Mm. Never. Uh-huh. I'm on to you. starts in about a couple weeks and they want me to come to the clinic to do some nonprofit and I get an amazing an amazing what? Dorm room. Dorm room. It just dawned on me. I'll be moving. No you're not. No, no you're not. Chris! Chris! Do, do not Did that get any worse? Chris, I'm leaving for work. What was that? Nothing. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I have the wrong address. Bryce? Wait. Josh! <laughs> Man, it's been years! <laughs> I've seen you since high school. You look the exact same. What are you doing here? I came by to speak to Marcus. I was yeah. told he was staying here. Marcus. Yeah, I had no idea you two would be staying together. Fuck. Chris! Will you come down here? Chris. So this is the right place. Wait, you know Chris? Just what are you talking about? I was just about to... Oh, hell no. What are you doing here, Bryce? I just came to speak to my husband. Ex-husband. Ex-husband. <laughs> 
being the operative word in a sentence. Marcus and I have some things that we need to discuss, and it's nothing to do with you, Chris. Let me tell you something. <laughs> hey, Bryce, 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 Bryce. So, I don't know exactly what's going on all that well, but Marcus has been here for the last few months, and it seems like you're bringing some drama to our doorstep that doesn't need to be here. By the way, Marcus isn't here anyway, okay? Well, let him know you came by. Don't you live in Texas? Yes. So it's imperative that I speak to him as soon as possible. I'm only here for a day or two. You can stay with my parents. Yeah, you can go here and go home. I'll let Marcus know that you stopped by. Please, son. Be sure you do that. Hey, <laughs> Christ, I think it's about time that you go. I'm going to be late for the work. It's time for you to go. <laughs> hey, Marcus. Bryce is here. I can see that. <laughs> uh, yes, this is Josh Fields. I'm going to be late for work. That's a dead thing. I know. What's up, boo? Nah, no, no, chill, chill. Come on, man. Come on. Mm -hmm. I'll be in the back if you need me. It's a nice shirt you got on. Is it new? How you been? I miss you. Why are you here? I know. I'm not the first person you wanted to see. Come here. Or the second, or the third. Hell, not even the fourth. How did you get this address? I didn't remember this address. It wasn't easy. I noticed the door to the apartment was open. I walked in. They were repainting an empty apartment, and after a long, awkward stare down, I noticed someone forgot the forwarding address paper in the mail. Always oh, so forgetful. Oh, stop, you little one. What do you want, Bryce? I'm selling the company. You what? <laughs> Why do you feel the need to tell me these things? You already took it from me. The bidders want to talk to the creator of the programs. Not only do they want to purchase the company, but also want to pay for consulting. Come on. So I see what this is. You want me to help you sell my company? My company. And what if I say no? Then I have to sell to one of the other prospects. I lose a lot of money. Sounds good to me. Also, you miss out on the 5% I was going to offer you for the sale. And the consulting fee that they're willing to offer. Five percent. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> but I want twenty percent. Excuse me. You heard me. I think I deserve at least that much. Let's talk this over dinner. It'd be nice to catch up, right? <laughs> ah. Oh, we can build back up to that. <laughs> All right. Hey, I'm uh, staying at my parents. How's your mom? She's good. You should call her. She misses you. She ain't the only one. You good? He outside still. I'm gonna go get him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. But he ain't with it. I guess he can live to see it another day. You know what? We can't allow this kind of negativity to fill up our space. This calls for a game night. What? Game night. What's the game night? Child, that's one of Josh's fix me situations and go to methods. Look, I'm about to invite somebody. Let me call Kavala and Trent. Invite somebody? Who would I invite?
Well, this is a delightful surprise. How'd you get here? Right here, after, as usual. That sounds annoying and expensive. Hmm. Overly expensive. But Christian Josh give me rides when they're not busy. Oh, speaking of annoying, Josh gives you rides? <sighs> when he's not busy. I'm surprised somebody as lazy as Josh would do something like that. <laughs> he's actually not that bad. He hasn't changed since high school. People like him and Bryce don't change. <clears throat> Speak of the devil, guess who decided to pop up at my doorstep this morning? Mr. Fields? Hmm. That's my daily curse. Bryce. Did you stab him with a spoon? <laughs> Aren't you a teacher? Is he a child? No. Okay, did you stab him with a spoon? <laughs> No, Amber. He's still walking around spoonless. Well, missed opportunity. What's Mr. Spineless up to? He actually wanted my help selling the business. To what? He said he had some buyers lined up and they wanted to meet the one responsible for this masterpiece of coding. Interesting. Right. He said there's other buyers that wants to get the business as well, but... Knowing Bryce, he wouldn't come to me unless the amount was substantially larger. Plus, he asked me to go to dinner with him. You see, they never change. What do you mean? Josh tried to get me to go to dinner with him the other night, too. Hmm. He failed to mention that. Yeah, he ran into me. <laughs> now he did mention that. <laughs> he tried to use work to weasel his way into dinner. Hmm. He didn't mention that one. They never do. <laughs> Man can be real assholes. Yes, they can. But honestly, I don't think Josh is like that. You couldn't stand him in high school. What happened? I don't know. Somewhere between the ice cream conversation, the fight at the club, and him helping me lose this marriage weight, I don't know. He just doesn't seem that bad of a person. Yeah, I still don't like him. <laughs> Took me a minute to like him, too. But... He actually has very good intentions. Which actually leads me to why I'm here today. Do you want to go to game night? Game night? What's a game night? I don't know. Something Josh is planning and Chris seems very excited. You see, why would I go to something that Josh planned? Because I asked you and you laughed at me. I will go. But only because I have papers to be grading. And I need to hear more about the Bryce situation. You and me both. <laughs> Give me a minute, it's probably the pizza guy. I'm just gonna skip you. <laughs> I don't know what kind of evening you have planned for me, but whatever it is you think I'm doing, it's probably worth more than $60. I would never offer you sixty dollars for anything never. ever. I swear. Okay. I'm gonna stop right there because I feel like if I keep talking, I'm just gonna dig myself into a deeper hole. Mm -hmm. Can we start over? Yes, you can start by inviting me in. <laughs> You're right, Mrs. Carp. Would you like to come in? Miss Carp. And yes, I'm I would a love to. Teacher, I should know that. Can I get you a drink? Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> Hey Chris, what about that refill? Refill! <laughs> What's it been, like six years since the last time I saw you? Only six years? You still haven't changed a bit. <laughs> Is that so? Yeah, you're, you're still driven and, and strong-willed and intellectual. <laughs> True. I'm glad you still remember the real me. How could I forget? <laughs> Ooh, that's part of the pizza. Grab 
gonna slice right off the box. Oh, oh bro. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Pizza boxes. Nice to see you too, Josh. Not the pizza guy. Oh. Wait, you're Bryce. <laughs> Damn it! Bryce! Bryce, what are you doing? Again. You haven't answered my call. Checking to make sure you're okay. Oh, hey, Bryce. I think it's time for you to go. I'm not ready yet. Marcus, I told you to call mom. She missed you. What, you don't care about family anymore? I'm trying to help you take care of yourself by bringing you in on this deal. <laughs> I don't have to do any of this, man. No, you're bringing me in because you need my help selling the company. Oh, <laughs> you think I need your help? I'm sitting at the top right now. I can easily sell it to the next buyer. Yes, Bryce. Yes, you can. Yes, you mother... You know what? You can go ahead and sell it to the next buyer. Because I no longer need you. You come here with this deal thinking money is going to get me to go to dinner with you. What, you think you're just going to finesse your way back into my life? I have some couches, some grounds for jobs, who wouldn't hire me to no avail. And yes, this deal can come at an amazing time, but at what price? I'm good. I'm good on that deal. I have a house and people who love me and will support me every step of the way. Yeah, we will. You're damn right. So if I gotta sleep on a couch, for the next six months, I'll do it happily before I crawl back to you or take any of your handbags. With that being said, Marcus, I, I hope this life, life treats you fine. Listen, Marcus, and I, I hope you have all you dreamed of. Don't have time for this, Chris. Dreamed of. Is this a Broadway musical? And I wish you joy. Marcus, get your friend. And happy I'll sing it too. But of all of this, I wish you. You know what, Chris? Woo! Drinks? Drinks sound good. Yeah, yeah, drinks sound good. good. Shot. <laughs> I should really be going. Yeah. Well, look, thanks for coming and sorry for what you had to witness over here. Don't be sorry. Just remember the spoon next time. <laughs> Amber. Night. <laughs> Miss Carter, would you mind if I walked you out? Uh, no, that'd be fine. Well, thank you for walking me out, Mr. Fields. It was my pleasure. Okay, good night. Miss Carp, I wanted to apologize about the other night. When I asked you out to dinner, I had ulterior motives. Yeah, I know. I still want to work. I still want to work on the, the study guys together because you are the greatest teacher in the school district and it would be an honor to learn from you. I may have misjudged you a tiny bit, but because my best friend says that you're not that bad, I am willing to try a friendship with you. That, that would be amazing. Get it together, Josh. Get it together, Josh. There we go, Josh. Come on. <laughs>